Hey, welcome back. We have an interesting question here with a rectangle surrounded by a border of uniform width. Uh, all the answer choices are integers and the dimensions of the rectangle are also integers. Uh, now we're told that the area of the rectangle is 8 by 10, so 80, and the area of the border is 144, so that's a total of 224. I'm not going to go into an algebraic solution because you can find that easily online. Uh, instead, what I'm going to suggest is that we think about the number 224 as the area of the whole thing, the rectangle plus the border. And what you want to think about there is what two numbers whose difference is two, so two numbers that are two units apart on the number line, what two numbers that are like that, that fit that description, would produce a product of 224. Now, why am I talking about two numbers that are two units away from each other on the number line? Well, because 8 and 10 are two units away from each other, and when you add the border on top of those numbers, that gap of 2 remains. Now, if you know that 15 squared is 225, then it's probably going to be 14 times 16 that's going to get you 224. You can use the difference of squares here, right? 224 is the difference of two perfect squares. It's 225 minus 1, or 15 squared minus 1 squared. So using the special product for difference of squares, that's 15 minus 1 times 15 plus 1, or 14 times 16. Now, I do recommend drawing a diagram so you can see with your own eyes what this picture and border look like. And then you can see there that if your numbers of 8 by 10 go up to 14 by 16, meaning we're adding a total of 6 units to each dimension, then the width of the border must be half that, or 3. So I'm going to pick answer choice A and move on to the next one. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.